Welcome to Crowded Lab. Today I have on review Frontly. This is your no-code application builder and I'm kind of excited about this one and looks like you can provide simple prompt like build human resources portal for managing our hiring process that includes page for tracking candidates and ideally this tool should provide a web application for you. So there will be pre-built blocks and I'm really interested how it will play out. Also, it has integrations with automation tools like Public Connect, Zapier, Active Pieces even, and Make. And to store your data, you will need to connect your Google Sheets or even Excel spreadsheets. So here is the example of one of the applications that was generated. So what I see, it seems like they will be using 20 plus or so main templates and they will try to fit any kind of application into that. So what kind of applications can you build? It could be analytics dashboards, I believe, CRM applications, inventory management systems, client partner portals. All right. So what flies and steers we have with the first one, you will be able to build five applications. And I think AI tokens will be used to generate applications. All plans include white labeling and license tier three will give you 50 applications. And with license tier five, you can have unlimited applications with bring your own key feature. Okay, so I'm indeed really excited to see how this tool will work. On the previous step, I have connected my Google Sheets. So what kind of applications can we ask to build? Let's view sample prompts, health and fitness tracking application, event planning, language learning, client portals. Okay, so... I came up with this prompt. This will be PlayStation 5 gaming session scheduler. So people can meet online and see when their friends play. So they can join. There needs to be some basic login functionality, profile creation, a calendar to book gaming sessions. We need to see past events and there should be links to Discord channel or voice communication. So yeah, let's let's try and see how it goes. So on the next step, I was proposed with the list of spreadsheets. I believe to store data for users, there will be a separate one, gaming events, another one, and probably we can add more, but let's proceed with what we have right now. We can fine tune the data, so The first one is users. I think it is fine. Gaming events. Here are the data for gaming events. Guest lists, past event. For each table or spreadsheet, there will be a unique column which defines each record. It is called in this one friendly ID. And when we look at guest lists, so this event ID As I understand, it will be automatically linked to a guest ID and in particular to an ID from users spreadsheet. So each user will have unique ID and guest lists will be mapped here by user ID to event ID. Okay, the last table is past events and Yeah, let's go and see some sample records. Here are some users, gaming events data with the Discord link. Okay. Guest list. Yeah, as I expected, it is a technical table which will map user to their event. Here are some data for past events. All right, let's go to pages. We have users, events, calendar, create event. Yeah, I think those should be enough. 
moving to the page blocks. For example, for user profile, there is a block called form, which is linked to our user's spreadsheet. And if you click on that, it seems we can have other types of blocks. So here is the full list. We can have tables, forms, grids, charts, text, timeline, video. So these blocks can give you an idea what kind of applications can you build. So I think in every application, only these components can be present. It could be enough to build a lot of applications. However, keep in mind, if you need something really complex, maybe Fontly is not for you. So basically, all applications will be reusing these blocks. Okay, if you click Add, what will happen? Okay, we have a new block and we can have additional elements on the pages. Okay, let's remove that for now. On the event details, again, we have forms, have event calendar, forms, forms, and past events as a table. All right, so yeah, let's go next and preview our application. Okay, here it is. We have users, gaming events, some base forms. We have calendar, create event page, guest lists. So here I did not expect a guest list to be shown as IDs. I thought there would be logic that would hide that. Then we have past events. It looks like we cannot modify these tabs. But anyway, let's finalize the application. We have a choice to view the live application. Okay, so for the user profiles, we have our page. Actually, not really useful. I was expecting more of a login page, but I didn't specify that in the prompt. So maybe I need to be more specific. Avatar, here should be a field where I can upload my page. The password is visible. But anyway, let's submit the profile. We have a record created. Let's go to the calendar. Here we can create event from this view and from a separate one. And if we click on a particular date, yeah, that's nice. It shows the event. Here are some data for our event. We can add that. Okay. Well, to get your application really functional, I think you need modify your prompt a lot because it is just a base application which is not really usable. So I have opened the option of no code editor and here we can modify the behavior of our pages. So we can link table to a spreadsheet. So what else can we have here, gaming events. This is the setup of create event. You can change the label, the input format, the validation. You can change options for your fields. For example, you can add some actions on the button. Like you can have open AI request to generate some data, to send the data externally to webhook or store something in Google Sheet. For example, we can create a user by the click or the button. There are some variables which we are getting from form. All right, so you get the idea. Okay, so frontly, what are my thoughts about this software? Well, they have 20 or so templates, so don't expect that you can build just any kind of application with this software. Mostly there will be tables, forms, a calendar, and you will be able to configure the behavior of your forms. However, I think the configuration 
will take some time and it will take practice, I think, to provide a prompt for this application. So it will produce the application that you expect. But anyway, if you would like to try this tool, the link will be in the description. Please also give this video a like and subscribe for more similar videos. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.